What is up? This is Colonial Puppet, and this is another episode of the Let's Build a Stadium series, where in last episode we finished the exterior, and now we're going to work on the interior. Um, it's been a while. I think it's been two months. And, uh, yeah, I, I got a lot of... got massive burnout from Minecraft, and I, I didn't even want to boot up the game. Uh, which is partly why I haven't made a an episode in a while. I thought it was a little more excusable because uh, we had finished the exterior last episode. So I feel like for a lot of people that would have been the, the last episode and that the interior wasn't really um, that necessary. A lot of people like to just kind of build big, big empty things. Uh, but I like building interiors. I'm not very good at interiors, but uh, I like building them anyway. So uh, I guess we're going to start on that. Starting at the bottom and, and working our way up. Um, I think I mentioned a couple episodes, in a couple episodes, that I want there to be a car park or a parking garage in this lower level. At least on like one of the sides of the, uh, the stadium, uh, which is what we're going to do. So I, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm well prepared. I have a list of all the block IDs uh, for, you know, using uh, World Edit. So let's get started. So I kind of want to map out where we want to put the, uh, the garage, or where, like get the kind of footprint of it mapped out. So I'm going to select this. Go all the way across, and then work my way all the way up to that. I'm going to go set, um, and white concrete is just 251. There we go. So we're going to confine it to this space right here, obviously. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Basically, find this. Go all the way up there, and then set that in like that. All right, so this is the space we got to work with. We don't need this, so let's just get rid of that. And now. Let's close this off. So this is light gray concrete. So let's select that. Set. And light gray concrete's 251. Eight. There we go. Got that. And this can be done by hand, pretty sure. And uh, my cat, I don't know if you can hear. Well, actually, you probably can't because I'm using a. Uh, pretty directional mic right now. Uh, my uh, blue Yeti is still out of commission. Um, I still need to open a repair ticket with that. Um, but I have a USB uh, audio interface hooked up with a regular ball vocal mic uh, hooked up to it. So uh, the quality isn't as good, but it's certainly a lot better than what my my laptop was putting out. Uh, that was pretty garbage. <laughs> 251. And it's funny, someone brought up the idea of uh, streaming on YouTube. And I might do that. That's a good idea. I, uh, I wouldn't mind doing that at all, actually. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd eventually like to move to Twitch, but, uh, for streaming, that is, I don't, I'm never gonna, I don't think I'm gonna, unless YouTube becomes very not viable, I'm gonna stick to YouTube. Um, I'll try it out for streaming, but I feel like Twitch is the place to go for streaming. Um, so I'd like to, uh, go there at some point. 
I have a Twitch channel. It's uh, in my um, banner, I think. It's in my uh, channel banner. There's a thing for it. And I'll eventually kind of get that up and running. Get OBS, all that good stuff. Let's fill this in. Oops. I want that to be our second. All right. And now I'm going to put this here. Fill that all in. But yeah. I don't know if I'd stream gameplay right off the bat. I'd probably do something like just like a talking thing. That didn't work. Alrighty. No. There we go. Alright, so we have this big old white room that we're gonna turn into a parking garage. But before we can do that, let's break out of here. Alright. Figure out actually that's perfect because this is where we're gonna build our uh, drive or um, entrance for cars to come in and out of, which it is wide enough for. It's like th seven blocks wide, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so it's seven blocks wide, which is more than enough. So we're gonna open that up, and now. This, that, build this over like that. And then we're going to take brick, fill this in with brick. So, fill that in. Alrighty. So, that is going to be our entranceway for cars. And, going to need some sort of hazard sign for like big trucks to make sure they don't um, actually it's going to be yellow and black not yellow and red so I'm going to take some concrete and do this just as like a warning for low clearance all that good stuff Looks all right. It's some red lights. So that's where the entrance to the entrance and exit for the um, for the car park slash parking garage. I don't know why I'm calling it a car park. I'm not British. <laughs> I think that's like what they call it across the pond. Though I could be wrong. Alrighty. Plenty of clearance for cars. There we go. Now we're going to want to set this up. So let's see. They drive in here. All right. Now it's going to be hard to plan out where to put like the, the ramp like the second floors because I think this is going to be a two-story tall parking garage and let's see I 
Actually, this might work out great. So I'm going to use cayenne clay for the road color. I think that that's like a nice color for like asphalt. All right. So now comes the tricky part of kind of planning out how this is going to be. Well, one thing we know is that we're going to want the steps to be, or the entrance to the uh, lobby to be here, because that's where the lobby is. Then we're going to want to figure out where the parking spots are going to be. I'm going to do this. I'm going to fill all this in with cayenne clay. Cyan clay, sorry. Just like that. And then start drawing out the white lines for where the cars are gonna go. So they pull out or they pull in here. Guessing the ramp is gonna be here, like right here. Okay. These are gonna be I think there's gonna be parking spaces and then it's gonna turn, gonna go up a ramp and then up. So let's get that taken care of. Well first of all we're gonna to want to start with the things, so Gonna want like a buffer zone of like four blocks. So let's do um let's do stone. Oops. Like that. this in with cayenne alrighty this will be interesting Alrighty. So there's that. Might as well fill this in too. Cool. And we're going to want this to have like a buffer as well, because this is where people are going to enter into. Let's do it for. Alrighty. Drink some juice. I'm just going to put a white concrete strip here this will help me to like plan things out that Keep driving 
Now let's see how tall this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we've got 20 to work with. So we want two of that to be in the center. So we'll count down 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Alrighty. So that's going to work out beautifully. So that's where the second story is going to start. Each story is going to be 10 blocks high, which is pretty tall for like office floors, but for a parking garage, I guess that's like a good height to have. Although, I mean, to be to be honest, maybe we could go three stories. Because I'm trying to remember, usually parking garage floors are pretty short pretty claustrophobic. I think these are going to be tall though. Let's just make these tall because we can. And then we're going to want actually do we want them tall because we don't want the let's try three stories. So one, two, three. So 20 divided by three is not going to work because 20 is an even number. Three is an odd number. Um, let's just go with this and see if this works. So, for this top one, we're going to want this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll do it. Then we're going to want. Let's see how big this ramp would be. So I want it to be gradual. Because this is like I'm trying to make it look like something that a car can drive up and down. So, like, two block wide increments of a half step. Alright, so we're getting close. Please get me there, get me there, get me there. One, two, three, four, five. Damn it. So, I think I'm gonna make the bottom floor a little bit lower. So I'm going to make it here as opposed to where we currently have it. That should get me some space. Um, actually, would that even get me that much space? I don't think so. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's do 8. That's where it was. Damn it. Alright, this, this should do it. Whatever. Um, so what I'm doing is trying to get myself as much space as possible to, um, 159, like I, I can't fit two lanes of traffic in five blocks of space. This should this should do it. This should be this should be fine. No. Get rid of this shit. Get rid of the shit. Alright. Let's try this. So we got one, two, two. I want at least seven blocks. Seven blocks. 
the space left over, which this is gonna more than no doubt get me. Okay. And I want it to be a gradual turn as opposed to a sharp turn. This is gonna this is the winning strategy. Set zero for here. Because we're not gonna use this. Bye bye. So the top floor is going to be a little bit taller than the bottom floor, but that is okay. Now, we just have to extend this one, three. Just like that. Now, the question is... I just need a. Do I need one going? I think I just only need one ramp. I don't think we're going to go three stories on this. Which is totally fine. I wish they had a darker um, stone slab, like a darker slab that wasn't brick. I'm not a fan of the brick uh, slab. I know that's a little darker, but I'm not a fan of the design of it. I'd rather have this, even though it's a lighter color. It's like a little more minimalist than the like stone brick. It looks like a weird brick road rather than like a sleek parking garage road. Alrighty. Now, I'm gonna take white concrete, build a road, or not build a road, build a wall. Just like that. And now, I'm gonna do this. Something like that. So you drive in, and then if you want to go to the upper levels, you can. Or you can just go straight into parking spaces there. All right, let's think about this. Hmm. I have to have a second opening. This will be for the second floor only. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. So let's set this.
are actually going to have two openings. This is going to be for upper level. This is going to be for the other level. This will make sense in a little bit. If it doesn't already, that is. It should make sense though. Basically there's going to be two entrances, one for the um, upper level and one for this bottom level. This is for the bottom level. like that. This will be like this. So this is the already. It's pretty cramped, but oh well. Make this off limits. all the way to the end. Like that. So this is going to be a confusing as hell parking uh, garage, but given the confines and my uh, lack of of 
practice in this. I, it'll be all right. Start putting in parking spaces. Let's go to there. Fill this in. Just like that. in with stone and I'm just kind of winging it right now because obviously there's gonna have to be a um, intersection of some point of some sort right here and this is going to be stone as well actually one two three five I guess we could make this now we're gonna make this stone I'm gonna need like a loop or something here. Which we can put in. very quiet because this is firing on all four cylinders right now.
And then this is not going to be used at all in terms of uh, space. So uh, block this off. So this can be set in with stone. Same with this. All right. So the thinking is we drive in, got parking spaces to your right. If you don't, you just circle around. And then you're going to be able to turn this way. It's going to do the same deal with the turning around. If not, you can go out around in same deal up on the second floor it's pretty convoluted there's probably a lot easier ways to do this but yeah <laughs> now starting from here let's see how much space we have one two three four five six all right let's try that again one two three four five all right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 25 blocks. So we need six for a row of, or we need seven for one, two, three, four, seven, two, three. Okay, so stop. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for a row of um, parking spaces. Then the two lanes needs an additional seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hopefully that gives us four left over. Sweet. And that four is the buffer. I've been taught, like I said, like a walkway basically for people to get out of their cars and walk to exits. So that's going to work out perfectly. So the next thing to do is um, break on these. So boom. Boom. Set two fifty one. Well, now we can begin press six. The process of making each individual uh, space, parking space. Uh, what? What you talking about, Willis? Okay, we got that. Sometimes I hit an S because I'm moving while I put in the command uh, from the WASD. That messes everything up. This is the fun part. I gotta give me some space at the end to do that little loop. So I'm not gonna make the last couple. Something like that. And then the same thing on this side. Do 
it's there is a copy paste function on uh, world edit but I need some practice with it it's hard to I don't understand like how it um, kind of orients itself so I think I'm pacing it in the right way but it'll end up being like a bunch of blocks off it's kind of confusing I'm always bad with copy pasting in programs that don't let you like like MC edit in MC edit you can like nudge what you paste and like see where you're gonna paste it before you paste it uh, that's fine but world edit where you kinda just have to like guess essentially like Gary's mod I always end up pasting things the wrong way there we go and then we can get rid of this fill this in. This is going to be the yellow. I apologize to people who actually like design these things for a living. If you're watching this, not that uh, I don't know what you're doing watching this video, but if you are I apologize. This is probably like really cringy in terms of layout. Not the best. <laughs> Not the most efficient uh, parking garage, but it's what I can spare, I guess. So now I have this weird three way intersection. Back two blocks, and uh, do this on either end. Like that. So it's like its own little circuit. Now let's see how we did this. So it came out. Four. Okay. That's all I needed to know. So this comes out one. There you go. Alrighty. Cool. Not bad. <laughs> not good, but not bad. But it works. To the bare minimum that I needed to work. I don't have stone in my palette, so I'm just gonna keep doing this. There we go. So this is the mess we've made. And if it doesn't make sense, I guess that's my fault, but here's my thinking. I know I've already kind of explained this, but this is America. So we drive on the right side of the road, come in, oh, there's some spaces, if those are filled up, loop around, alrighty, no big deal, stop, go right, plenty of options, options on your right, 
they're all taken, do the loop. More spaces on your right. If not, oh no. Go out. And then back in. Oh, jeez. Oh, oof. And then up this. And then essentially we're going to have to design a whole other <laughs> circuit up here. But we're going to do that next episode. We're not going to do that this episode. Um, I think that was confusing enough for an episode, actually. So uh, I'm going to call it an episode. Be sure to check out the next episode when it comes out in the previous episodes if you'd like to follow along. Uh, next episode, we're going to put a roof over this uh, confusing thing's head, get some lighting in, and then probably start mapping out the second floor, which is probably not going to be too far off from this. Although we're going to need to make it completely um, self-contained because obviously we're not going to be able to have doors on the second floor. So it's going to need to be completely loopable back down here. So uh, be sure to check out that when it comes out. And other than that, this has been Colonial Puppet. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm.